hey hey welcome back to my channel today we are gonna make some hot honey wings in the air fryer these are so tasty so easy and delicious all right let's get started so as you can see i have a bunch of seasonings that i like to use but you guys don't have to use all of these different things i'll let you know what i have and then you can just use what you like you will need, of course, the hot honey, and you're gonna need a tablespoon of cornstarch. I use onion powder, and then there's some kicking chicken seasoning that I got from Ross, lemon pepper, parsley, oregano, cayenne if you want the extra heat, onion powder, poultry seasoning, and then I also have some Old Bay seasoning. If you don't wanna use all this, use what you like on your chicken, or you can just use some Johnny seasoning or some Lowry seasoning salt if you want to make it a little bit easier. So here I'm just going to add in all of my seasonings. Typically I don't measure but I would say if I had to measure for the amount of chicken that I had which was probably about a pound and a half because these wings are really really small guys. Maybe about a half a teaspoon of each one. And so if you were just using the seasoning salt, I would probably go about a tablespoon to maybe two tablespoons. It also really depends on how many pounds of chicken that you have. But these chicken wings were so tiny. Here I'm going to add a little bit of EVOO. That's extra virgin olive oil that I have in my Misto sprayer. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely love that. It is very important that you don't miss this step. I am putting one whole tablespoon of cornstarch. Do not miss this step if you want to have crispy air fried chicken. Um, so one tablespoon will do it. I cook my chicken on 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. Also, it depends on if you really like your chicken crispy. I like it extra crispy, so I keep it in there a little bit longer. But honestly, these wings were so small that it probably would have been okay at about the 15 minute mark. So make sure you spray your basket before you lay your chicken in your air fryer because if you don't, um, you do risk the chance of them sticking. So as you're going to see, in order to get the crispiness that you want when you're cooking in an air fryer, you need to make sure that you are spraying your meat often. There's not a lot of calories. I think for each spray, there is about five calories um, when you use the sprayer that I have. All right, guys. So this is about five minutes in the cooking process. It looks pretty good there. So I'm going to spray it again. Again, you want to make sure you do that. Don't miss that step if you want crispy chicken wings. We're going to throw it back in. And then this is what they look like about 10 minutes in. We're at the halfway mark here. Looking pretty good. Okay, so they are halfway done in the cooking process. So we want to go ahead and flip these over. And of course, once we flip them over, we're going to spray them one more time. Guys, I'm telling you, these chicken wings, like, what is that? Like, really, Walmart? They were so tiny. But as we know, the food prices are getting ridiculous. And I just feel like sometimes the portion size are getting less and less. But the prices are going up. But anyway, back to the cooking session. So yeah, I'm going to flip them all over. We're going to spray it one last time. And then we're going to put them back in the air fryer for the last 10 minutes of the cooking process. Alright guys, so our little baby chicken wings are finally done. Yes, I did let them cook for exactly 20 minutes and they came out looking delicious. Mm -mm -mm. You guys know we love flavor over here. Yum. I'm going to transfer these over to a plate so we can go ahead and get ready to put the star, the real star of this show today, which is the Trader Joe's Hot Honey. Oh my goodness, it's so delicious. This is a close-up of what the chicken looks like. Just bare with no sauce on there. And of course, you can eat it like that because it is delicious just like that. Of course, I tried one on the side. But here is the star of the show, the Organic Spicy Honey by Trader Joe's, guys. And this was only about $2.79. If you go elsewhere to look for hot honey, it is so much more expensive. So I actually grabbed a couple. And the lady did tell me um, at the checkout counter that she thinks that this hot honey is um, seasonal. 
So if you like to shop at Trader Joe's or if you want to get some delicious tasting hot honey, um, go ahead and check out Trader Joe's. So I just drizzle just as much as I want on there. And this is all to your taste, guys. So whatever amount you like on there, that's how much you want to put on your wings. Oh my goodness, look at what the air fryer can do. Oh my word, guys, these were so, so good. I am gonna do a taste test at the end. So make sure you um, hang tight for a couple more minutes. I'm just gonna add on some green onion. That's pretty much just for garnishment to make it look nice and delicious. And here we go with the taste test. Yep, right before I tasted it, I added a little bit more of that hot honey on there. I'm going to go in for the drummy. Let me know in the comment section below, do you guys prefer the drummies or do you like the flats? I like both, so I don't really have a preference. Um, but let me know in the comment section because some people seem to really, really enjoy the flats. Here, I'm just eating a little bit of Spanish rice that I cooked. And then there's some asparagus that my daughter made. And this right here is a flat. This was really, really good. So give it a shot, guys, and let me know what you think. If you haven't tried the hot honey at Trader Joe's, guys, give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe.